Hey everybody, it is Sunday the 15th of July 2023. I'm here at the Farmington Canal Trail once again. Today is my Saturday six mile marathon pace run in week number two of my 2023 New York City marathon training block. So it's still warm out here. It's uh, low to mid 80s, still a bit humid. I'm gonna to try to keep my pace down in the low eight. I put this workout into my Garmin, six mile marathon pace run, eight minutes to 810 per mile. So we'll see if I can hold that today because of the temperature and the humidity. Maybe it'll be a little bit higher than that. It'll depend. I'm gonna monitor my heart rate and see how my effort feels. But um, the goal is to get it down there. That's marathon pace. And uh, this would be the first up-tempo run of this training block. Let's see how it goes. Tomorrow is supposed to have a lot of thunderstorms, so I may be stuck having to do 10 miles on the treadmill on Sunday. So really don't look forward to that. Let's hope there's a couple hour window tomorrow where I can get it in outdoors. But if I have to, I have to. Let's get out on the trail. Okay, cranked out mile one at 8.03 on the six mile marathon pace run. So, Gonna make sure I don't overcook it. It's very warm and humid out here. So let's keep going. Oh, by the way, today I'm wearing the Brooks Hyperion Max. It's a good up-tempo day shoe. It feels plenty stable enough for this run today. So pretty good, I like the turnover. I'll tell you how it works when I get done this workout. Okay, just finished mile two. I was at 8.02 for mile two. Still, I gotta be careful, right? Eight minutes to 8.10. It's hot, I'm in the sun, it's humid. Bought these Hyperion Max from Brooks. Doing a really good job of keeping my turnover going pretty quick. Feel real comfortable. Okay, just hit the halfway point. Mile three was 8.09, a little bit slower. I gotta maintain here for the last half. Key is to get the average under 8.10. I'm on track for that, a little bit fast. First couple of miles more than I would like to, but I'm right in that middle of that eight to 8.10 pace. So let's see how it goes. It just hit mile four at 8.07, so I'm sticking there. It's getting tough now. It's really hot and humid, but I only got two miles left. Gotta keep it under 8.10, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, mile five, 8.03. Don't kill myself this last mile. One mile to go. All right, let's rock. Railroad tracks run along the creek. Walk them up and down in the summer heat. Same old boy changing like the seasons. Country kid turn it to a town right heathen. Okay, we're back. Great, great finish. 806, mile six. And I averaged 805 for the entire six miles. So right smack dab in the eight minutes flat to 810 per mile range. Really good run today. Extra tough because of the heat and humidity, but I hit my workout. I need to do a lot of good recovery today because I got 10 miles easy tomorrow. So I'm gonna be running on tired legs a bit, but really good run today. I was amazed I was able to hold it together the last three miles because you know mile three was an 809 and I was starting to feel it. But I hung in there, completed the workout, maybe worked a little harder than I needed to today where I would typically work for a marathon pace run, but it's good to get the legs going and to see what my fitness is in such harsh conditions. My Garmin is showing that I'm 100% acclimated or acclimatized to the hot weather, but you know what, whatever that means or for whatever that's worth, it's just an indicator, it's not a real accurate measurement, but I'm feeling like I'm handling these conditions a lot better than I was a couple of weeks ago. So I guess it's doing something. So great workout today. Really happy about it. And uh, I'll take my 10 mile run tomorrow, potentially on the treadmill, which I absolutely am not looking forward to, but we'll do what we have to do. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, just a couple of tips, a couple of things I did today to make sure I was prepared for these conditions. I drank a whole bottle, about 20 ounces of Tailwind with a little bit of caffeine, but I got hydrated. I got electrolytes in there so that I wouldn't have to drink while I was on this run, knowing that I was gonna sweat tremendously. So that was really good. Again, I wore the Hyperion Max today. These shoes did a great, great job. Felt plenty stable enough for my mild to moderate pronation at this type of pace. So 
really really good job with these shoes today felt very comfortable very responsive really good turnover really liked it i do recommend if you're using a trainer for your marathon i would wear that trainer that you're going to run your marathon in to do your marathon pace runs if you wear race shoes on marathon day maybe go with a lighter if you have a rotation a lighter faster shoe for your marathon pace runs or if you have a pair of race shoes that are durable and you're not going to wear them that much you could wear those on your marathon pace days that way you get a more realistic feel for what that pace is going to be like during the marathon so great day out here i'm going to go get cooled off i'm going to get some recovery drinking me some tailwind recovery i'm going to cool off i'm going to put my legs up maybe do a little massage a little passive stretching and uh get myself ready for my 10 mile long run tomorrow cheers okay everybody good morning it is sunday july 16th and i'm here in the bowels of the old man van cave in my exercise room and here you have my soul f85 folding treadmill that i am going to run my 10 mile long run today because we got thunderstorms we got tons of rain it's just going to be a deluge out there for the entire day lots of wind so we're gonna have to do this workout here today so i've got myself all set as you can see i've got my tablet i'm gonna watch a movie i've got old man van i've got a bottle of water i've got a bottle of tailwind with caffeine in it i've got my trusty dusty towel i've got my speaker right here that i'm going to play my movie through and i've got this massive fan right here that's going to keep me at least somewhat cool and not totally drenched during this run i really don't look forward i'm going to tell you i really do not look forward to 10 miles on the treadmill but it's the best thing i ever bought even though it's one of the best things i ever bought but i'm going to tell you it's one of the most unpleasant aspects of running for me i don't like running on the treadmill but i'm so happy i have it because it ensures that i'm not going to miss a run and a workout so you know what it's something you got to do and I'm, I'm glad i did it just not looking forward to this oh well okay so we're a little over nine miles into this 10 mile run on the treadmill sorry about the no shirt but it's really really warm in here so just trying to stay cool and uh doing pretty good averaging in the mid nines just getting this done today after that marathon pace run yesterday but we're cranking along okay we're back in the excel spreadsheet looking at my 18 week new york city marathon training plan weeks one and two in the books all workouts were hit just as planned yesterday as you saw in the video i did a six mile marathon pace run right over here i did that on the farmington canal trail in very warm very humid conditions my pace for that workout was eight minutes flat to 810 per mile as you saw i hit 805 so smack dab in the middle very successful marathon pace run yesterday no worse for wear this morning the weather outside was horrendous today torrential rains all day long until about now we had thunderstorm warnings we had tornado warnings, so I ran my 10 miles on the treadmill watching Maverick Top Gun to keep me motivated. So very happy with these two weeks. I've been getting plenty of rest. I've been recovering well. I don't have any niggles. I'm really happy with my progress so far. One more week in the base cycle, then I get a cutback week. Then we add some additional mileage, as you can see, and start adding some more structured speed work. So a really good first two weeks of this training block. Everything's gone according to plan. Key is to stay disciplined, stay healthy, and I'm looking forward to my progress as we move forward. Talk to you next week when we'll cover week three. Hey, thanks for watching this video. You know, if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you'll get notified when more videos are posted. If you like my channel, you like my videos, please, if you have running friends you think might enjoy it as well, please let them know and maybe they'll subscribe as well. And also, comments, 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 plenty of comments always helps the channel. So with that, thanks again for watching this video. And remember, as always, 
Lace up those shoes and let's get out on the roads.